to perform the process of intubation basically two things are required first one is endotracheal tube and the second one is a laryngoscope laryngoscope is having two parts first one is the handle of the laryngoscope and the second one is the blade of the laryngoscope with point source of light now we are going to start the process of intubation now to perform the process of intubation slightly extend the neck of the patient now you are going to introduce the laryngoscope gradually introduce the laryngoscope and as soon as you are going to introduce the laryngoscope you people can see this uvula tonsil and the epiglottis which is covering the trachea you are supposed to introduce the blade just behind the epiglottis and lift it as soon as you are going to lift the epiglottis you people can see there is an opening for the trachea this opening is characterized by the presence of vocal cord which are placed laterally and in this opening you are supposed to introduce the endotracheal tube unless and until this opening is not visible you are not supposed to introduce the endotracheal tube here we are going to introduce endotracheal tube endotracheal tube should be introduced into the trachea after the introduction of the endotracheal tube inside the trachea you are supposed to inflate the bulb which is present distally at the end of endotracheal tube now gradually remove the laryngoscope after removal of the laryngoscope the endotracheal tube is fixed at the corner of the mouth after fixing of the endotracheal tube the air entry in both the lungs is checked the air entry in both the lungs is checked with the help of the ambu bag with the help of the ambu bag the expansion of the lung on the both the side is observed sometimes there is a possibility that the endotracheal tube may inflate one of the lung and other lung remain as it is in that condition you people can take the chest x ray to look whether whether there the endotracheal tube is placed in situ or not now finally after removing the ambu, ambu bag you are supposed to attach the endotracheal tube with the hand ventilator this is how the process of intubation is done